All right, guys, back. I know it's been a little while. Thanks for still watching the videos while I was gone. But we're looking at a new shoe today. We got in the New Balance 990 V6 in the Magenta Pop. And let's get into it, guys. What's going on, everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast, and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. And if you're watching today at this very moment, we hit 3,000 subscribers. So thank you, guys. I wish I knew how to use Illustrator, so fireworks, things like that. Just imagine that here. But I really do appreciate it, everybody. We hit the 3,000 mark, which means we're past the halfway mark of when we need to get to the year. Looking to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I really do appreciate everybody for supporting. Get some new friends, get some new family members to watch the channel. We're gonna get to 5,000, guys. I can feel it. I, I can't wait to actually see when that day comes. But thank you again. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment, hit the notification bell to know when new videos drop. Now, you already saw the intro. You know what we're looking at today. That is gonna be the New Balance 990 V6 Made in the USA Magenta Pop. Now, guys, you already know about this Made in the USA sneakers teddy santas took over not too long ago and has been doing work with that and what made it even better is that on a, it's a model that i've been waiting for so 990 v6 came out sometime last year middle to late last year but the all gray wasn't really doing it for me i like the gray and new balance some new balance fans don't kill me on this one but for some reason with the new makeup of the 990 with the v6 the all gray just didn't do it for me so when it comes to this more futuristic look of the 990 i think more color does it shoot justice for example, the Action Bronson with the Baklava 990 V6 is fantastic. I tried to get that one, that just, just didn't happen. But I was able to get my hands on the 990 V6 in this macadamia pop, macadamia, magenta pop color. And this one is going to be probably one of my favorites of the year. I've been waiting, again, waiting to get my hands on the sneaker and it was well worth the wait. I am been very impressed just to kind of give you a precursor of what we're looking at today. But this sneaker does not disappoint. High price tag, but with New Balance, especially the Made In series, you kind of know what you're going to get there. So first things first, we're going to get into the makeup of the sneaker. And we're going to start with the mud guard. Of course, that's going to be that nice pigskin suede that up in that macadamia colorway so now you know how i slipped up and said macadamia instead of magenta earlier this pigskin suede is going to be in a macadamia colorway which is going to be more of a tan cream color i don't know the best way to describe it for you but it's in that same realm that color family now it is going to be really nice suede again you know what you're getting the made in series is always going to be a1 premium materials and it's going to move on up into this magenta there we go the magenta color that's going to be done on that web that you typically get in that new balance 990 series very nice it's going to be more of it looks like a short hair suede or a new buck but it's going to be again still just premium materials there that's going to sit right on top of a kind of an off-white mesh now with that off-white and that macadamia colorway this shoe freaks me out because i think i might destroy it over time with those light colors especially that suede because it's, to me it's hard to clean it if someone knows how to perfectly let me know, I need a tutorial because that feels like it's gonna be just like dark and dirty soon. But regardless, we wear sneakers, right? So we're gonna have that white mesh there that's gonna sit right underneath all of our eyelids that are done up in that pig skin suede, again, in the same macadamia colorway. It's gonna have a purple New Balance branding here with that magenta kind of threading right here. I don't wanna say piping, it's gonna be threading actually down at the bottom. Now, when it comes to the purple, and we're gonna get back to laces in a second, all the purple we're gonna see except for that, actually, yeah. No, I think all the purple actually in the sneakers can be reflective. So from the New Balance branding here at the bottom of the eyelids to the top of the tongue tag here where we're gonna get our New Balance branding done up in silver and red. And of course the New Balance in logo you're gonna get on the lateral and medial side of the sneaker along with the webbing towards the ankle collar, all reflective and even the top eyelid. So you're gonna have some reflective pieces there, which I always love that extra touch. But getting back to the tongue is gonna be done up in a mixture of more of an open cell mesh and then a more closed up mesh up top. Give a nice cushion, sits really nice on top of the foot. Can't complain about that whatsoever. And it's gonna also have your flat macadamia colored laces. Now there's no extra laces that come with this particular sneaker, but there's no need for them. This is perfect the way it is. You don't need any options to change the colors. This should be the way it is. I mean, of course you can change them if you want, if you have those particular colors that you like, but I think the way it's put in the box is the way it's just perfect the way that it is. I said that six times so far. Whatever. Now, getting inside the sneaker, you're gonna have, again, that mesh sock liner, which is gonna be done in a more pure white color that is gonna be company with an insole that is gonna be purple as well with the New Balance branding here. And it's gonna be a foam sock liner and it's pretty comfortable, but being that foam, I'm not sure how long it's actually going to you know, sustain. Usually with the foam sock liners, after a while, it'll bottom out. 
Uh, but the cushioning of the shoe does actually probably cancel that out because it's such a nice cushion they put in here, nice foam they put into the shoe, that you may not have noticed if that insole does bottom out. And that's gonna be mostly in cap, which is typically used with the um, New Balance 990 series, you're gonna have the branding right there in the back in purple. But it's also gonna be a mixture of fuel cell, which is the first time they've actually used this in the New Balance. Now the end cap is gonna be a polyurethane and EVA mixture, while the fuel cell is gonna be a nitrogen infused foam. So it gets a little bit softer, a little bit more springier uh, pop to it, which is why it's in the heel, a little bit more pop in the heel. While the rest of the sneaker is gonna be that more stable, still soft, but more stable setup with the end cap. Now that midsole is gonna be broken up into that kind of off-white color, a break in purple and then getting to that fuel cell which is going to be that more macadamia color so a nice split there i really like how they set that up the colors the layering gives the shoe a lot of depth which i really like now getting to the outsole here of course you're gonna have that fuel cell fuel cell branding right here in the middle that's exposed but you're also gonna have that in, was it endurance yeah endurance rubber here where you have a couple different traction patterns that are be done up in black white and getting back to black again so nothing really crazy about the traction pattern i guess if you really want to run in these you could kind of heavy for me i'd rather go in something you know lighter direction but like, these are running shoes so i guess you can try it i don't know uh and one thing i did forget to mention is going to be the silver 990 branding it's going to be deep balls right here on the side of the lateral the lateral side of the heel of the sneaker so that way you get that right there so you know exactly what model it is and of course, you're going to have your heel cup that's going to be done up in a plastic that has a silver New Balance and made in the USA underneath it. This sneaker, again, priced at about $219. It's available on the New Balance website right now. Some various, various other places. Pretty available, which is good for those New Balance fans, those Teddy Santos fans, because this is a great looking shoe, great feeling shoe. I think it wears very well. I will say try it on. New Balance with the 990s, I feel like they run a little longer. This one just runs a smidge a bit long, but not enough for me to go down half a size. So this is still a size 10. I would recommend true to size but i would also recommend trying them on if you can because you just want to be sure especially when a shoe does run a little bit longer to get the right comfort for you you don't want to have a slippage if you want to have a more snug fit now if you're a wide footer you already know new balance is known for having a wide version of these shoes so again try them on see what works best for you whether it's going up a half size or just getting a next size up when it comes to width try them on if you can there's typically new balance available in a lot of different places i guess uh but i'll of course i'll leave a link down below if you really want to get a pair of these you'll have access to it on the website but let me know what you guys think about this one again this is probably one of my favorites of the year so far um not something that was talked about a lot because it was overshadowed by the action bronson pair but you can never go wrong with that uh, made in usa elevated materials uh just a elevated comfort new balances is known for that already so just good stuff new balance is doing they're gonna keep doing and you just let me know what you think of them. You like them, you not like them. I know a lot of people were split on the 990 V6 like it was great because of the change from the originals or it was too futuristic and straight away from the DNA of the 990. I really like them personally, but let me know what you guys think down below. Until next time, guys, see ya.